back Titans, this is how to use Lilligant. Um, so, this is the 22nd episode now, and the number of subscribers I've got recently has gone up. Um, it's still an absolutely minute amount, like really, really small amount, but you're my subscribers, and well, I just want to say thank you like for, for watching the videos, for staying tuned, Okay, anyways, let's get back onto the video. So, this is how to use Lilligant. Um, Lilligant is an absolutely awful Pokemon. Okay, I'm just going to come out and... That, I just kind of came out and said it. Lilligant's an awful Pokemon. Um, there's little to nothing you can do with it. It's got some nice base stats with 110 on the special attack, 90 on the speed, and 70 on the hit points, as well as 75 on both of the defences. So, you've got the potential to turn it into a tank. Um... And, yeah, but what you want to do is try and make it a sweeper, so... I went Life Orb, Chlorophyll, Energy Ball, Hidden Power Fire, Grass Whistle, and Dream Eater. Yeah, I resorted to using Hidden Powers. If you've watched any of my others, um, you'll see how much I actually resent Hidden Powers. I didn't put the 4 into Physical Defense. Sozzy. Um, anyways, so you want to run Modest... Um, 252, 252, and those ones, Grass Whistle puts it to sleep, you could run this with a Crobat, yep, a Crobat with Gravity, no, you don't get Gravity, I thought you got Gravity, maybe it's a Sableye, yeah, okay, um, let's just, you know, I know that Sableye get it, gets it, so let's just do that, Sableye with Gravity. So, negates ground immunities and increases accuracy, or actually decreases evasion, so that means Grass Whistle is more likely to hit. And then Dream Eater will work. Since um, the only coverage you've got, let's just run down this. You guys can have a look. But look, tell me if you see a move that's offensive and not Grass type, with, with the exception of Hidden Powers, of course. Anything? No? Okay. Anyways, so yeah, there's Dream Eater and whatnot. So, let's move on to the next set. Um, I had no clue what else to do after that first set, so I thought, okay, you get Light Screen, maybe you get Reflect. No, you don't get Reflect. Okay. So I thought, okay, well, if you run the Light Clay, you can at least get your Light Screen on for 8 turns. I suppose that's okay. And you can run safeguard because just because you're not being status doesn't mean your party won't be being status. And you can have ro aromatherapy to get rid of any currently going status. And you could have leech seed or giga drain. Um, either one and that works quite well. <sighs> Anywho, so that's the second set. Of course, you'll all be running this with a drought nine tails um, for the um, sunny day proc. There's chlorophyll and leaf guard both require sunny day. Anyway, the next set, um, Lilligan is a Pokemon that gets access to Quiver Dance. So, Quiver Dance Protect, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Fire, Leftovers, 252-252, with Leaf Guard as Quiver Dance, if you take a look. Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed by 1, so you don't need to put any investment into that speed, but I suppose you could take, uh, I don't know, about 112 into the investment on the speed. If we put that down to 50, I can actually check if my calculations are right. So, 124. If I put chlorophyll up, actually. And then just lack of investment, that's 220. You're going to be out of speed in most Pokemon there. Like, relatively easily. Um, so you can go back to the extra investment. Um, wrong one. A little bit of investment there. Uh, a little bit of investment there. I think it should actually be 52 to 28 rather than 56. I had to try and memorise these. I'm looking at another monitor where I've got my notes. Yes, I do take notes. I'm sorry. I don't just do this on the fly. Though I think I should have made the same light with, with gravity before the video. Anywho, those are your three probably best ways of running Lilligant. You could, of course, um, 
the Lugan does get access to Tita Dance. So that could, that could be good on a doubles perspective. It gets Heal Bell. It gets Healing Wish. And there was another one that it gets. It gets Swords Dance. I don't know why you'd have Swords Dance. It gets Entrainment. So you could have Own Tempo. Actually, no. You, yeah. If you paired it with a Pokemon that had Own Tempo, you'd probably want um, Chlorophyll. And then Entrainment wouldn't work with this set, would it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Lilligant barely ever barely gets anything. Stun Spore, I guess. So between the Confusion and the Paralysis, it won't do much. And then when you're low on health, you can just Healing Wish, and then your replacements. So say you had a Sweeper that took some damage. You come out, you Teeter Dance, you st Stun Spore, you Heal Bell, and then you Healing Wish. Um, and your replacement comes back in fully, fully thinged, fully thing like healed. Eh, hey, that doesn't look like great EVs, but it doesn't look bad. The chlorophyll, you don't need anything in speed. So 252. I'm making this up on the fly now. 252, 252, four. Yeah, that would work with a modest nature rather than a timid nature. There we go, and then. I don't know what you can have. Yeah, I really don't know what you can have as an item. If somebody can make Lilligant work, um, like, I don't know, send me the little video code. If, send me the little video code for it, and I'd, I'd be more than happy to watch it, because it, I'd love to see Lilligant working competitively, because I've got a few sets for it. Um, this set looks like it could work. Um, but the Quiver Dance set looks like it could work as well. So, if, if you've got a video of Lilligant working, I'd absolutely love to see it. Thank you all for watching. Fear the Titan, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.